Hi, so this is a short tutorial which is going to show you how to use 3D Combine's 2D to 3D conversion features to convert your images to 3D. I'm going to use the sample images that are provided with the software in this tutorial so you can try and replicate the steps yourself uh, and then extend it to include the pictures that are in your library. So to start off with I'm just going to open a 2D image. So I do that by clicking underneath the, uh, the left hand pane and select open 2D image. Uh, now it opens here at the sample images. If you ever want to find them, they're in C colon program files 3D combine 6 samples. Uh, and I'm going to start with um, a simple landscape image. Uh, so there you go. Um, so I want to convert that image to 3D. So all I have to do is go depth, extend the, uh, the menu, and select 2D to 3D landscape. And there you go, 3D combine has now automatically made that a 3D photo. If I go to preview and select color anaglyph, as you can see, that's now a full 3D image. Uh, so that's that's option number one, and you can do that. That uh, function is suitable for most landscape type images where you have um, something from the foreground rolling away into the background. It can be very effective and very quick. Okay, the other similar feature is the portrait one. So I'm going to start with portrait sample one, uh, and instead of click on the landscape option, I'm going to click on the portrait option. So this is a little bit more involved, it's doing a bit more work, um, but there you go, it's finished and it's got a 3D image again. And if I look at Color Anaglyph, you can see that's the 3D image, and it's very effective. Uh, this this tool is particularly good at separating out kind of foreground from background images, so anything like this where you've got um, something in the foreground and then it, it, it rolls away can be quite effective. Um, it's called Portrait, so it's really designed for conversion of, um, of, of photos of people against the background. So to illustrate that, I'll open the second sample, uh, which is here, which is someone uh, diving. And again, I just go 2D to 3D portrait, let the software do its thing. And again, if I go to Color Anagath, you can see that that's a, uh, that's a 3D image. Um, and it's not one of these 3D images where it's just, um, everything's just separated, that it, that it has genuine depth. Um, if you want to do a very quick image where everything's just separated, um, all you actually have to do is click on the uh, the depth queue, um, and that will create for any image that will create a a three D image by just setting it back into the screen. Um, it, it it gives it a bit of a three D effect, but it's not really a three D image in the true sense of the word. Okay, so those are the real simple options. Um, the more advanced way is to use depth maps, and I've got some other tutorials which show you how to create those depth maps. So I'm just going to open the the sample one that comes with the software. Um, so here we've got depth map sample um, and parallel is correct and you can see this is the same as the sample photo uh, except this time I've also got a depth map and this depth map shows the depth at which all the different parts of the image are at so black is far into the background and white is right up at, at the foreground so if I want to convert that to 3D all I do is click on smart 3D uh, I can change the uh, amount of 3D effect so if I if I put more uh, a larger value then it will have a much more um, greater effect so it'll pop out of the screen more and it'll go back into the screen more um, but the risk is that you, uh, you'll you see more artifacts that are due to uh, imperfections in your depth map uh, and also if you make it too big you'll start to introduce eye strain so the, the default value is a, a fairly good uh, choice to start off with. Okay and as you can see it's done that uh, and if I go preview save again color anaglyph image uh, and you can see that's a, that's a proper 3D image. Okay, and that's all there is to it really. So you can, um, if you like to, you can batch convert images. So if you want to do your whole collection and see what it looks like, you can go open 2D images. So I'll open the two sample ones. Um, and you can now see that I've got multiple images loaded. Um, I'll go to, I'll just check my filter list. I'll use the portrait function on each of these. And I can flick through them and each time it needs to reapply the filter. There you go. Uh, so you can load as many images uh, in batch as you like like that. Go to preview, save, save them as color anaglyphs. Um, and this time when I go, um, I select a folder, JPEG, and it's just going to run through all those images and convert them straight to 3D. Um, and then there's nothing more that you need to do other than watch them. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you.